is up guys very exciting day ahead um, fuel pump controller as the title says I've opened the box up a couple of times to look at it apparently I still know how to open the box there we go so what we got here some EQT stickers I ordered it through EQT we got some connectors here looks like I might have to pin that one myself We'll see how this works. More wiring, lots of it. Um, got the wiring with the fuses. This it gives me. I might have to look. Might be just some extra stuff in here. This should open up. There we go. Look. I think I, I think I did that. I think I sucked a fuse now already, but there is a fuse for it. Um, and you got a cable to connect to a computer if you need to do any type of crazy other stuff. See, the fuse is still here, so I don't know. I need to look a little more into this, but it comes with butt connectors and all the things you should need. And of course, the module itself here. Very nice little piece. It says not to mount this. So you got tells you exactly what power in, pump out, the USB, and the input output. So. Nice little piece. The, the reason for this is I have a Walbro 450 pump with uh, Precision Race Works 925cc port injection kit. So on pump gas, it's fine. There's no issues at all. Not that I've ever had an issue, but I want to have this to prevent having issues. So when I start running ethanol, the pump obviously has to work harder because it takes more fuel when you use ethanol. So to run full ethanol, on that pump without the stock fuel controller getting too hot um, because of amperage it needs more amperage to run you know more pump um, that module can get really hot and it can just, just destroy itself with this this takes place of the stock controller um, it does get hot but it has way thicker wiring which is why you gotta wire it directly to your battery and all that jazz to get all the power that it needs to run that pump at its full capacity to be able to run full E85 on this turbo setup. Um, it's kind of expensive. Some people get away with not using one at all, using the stock controller, or they just keep replacing the stock controller because apparently, I guess, they're not all that expensive. But uh, I don't want to have to deal with that. I want to have a nice, reliable car, be able to run all the ethanol I want, when I want, once I'm tuned for it. So the end goal with the tune should be, I don't know, five, 520-ish wheel horsepower on full ethanol. It should be able to make more than that, honestly, but right around there would be fine. A little over 500, perfect for me. And that would be at 32 pounds. So, um, I don't know where I'm gonna mount it yet. I saw some stuff online, people mounting it under the passenger seat or just in the back somewhere. I'm gonna figure out what I think looks the cleanest. They said the hardest part about this whole install is running these thicker wires through the firewall. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to pull the battery out find some grommets to pull and uh, get some wires pulled through the firewall and then figure out where we're gonna mount this thing. I also need to figure out what plugs into what exactly, but uh, it should be a fun time. It shouldn't be too terrible. And then we can call it good. And then also today I'm doing my ethanol sensor to my P3 gauge. Um, that'll be after this in the next video you'll see in a couple days. So I'm gonna take all this out to the garage and figure out what to do from there. All right, so they say the most difficult part is getting this through the firewall. So I'm gonna find a grommet and uh, see where I can push these through. But what I would really like to do, because this, this has got a wire right to the battery, right? So what I'd like to do is utilize, my lightweight battery has these, these threads in the post. And I went through my bolt box, found one that fits, right? So it threads on there nice and beautiful it's just too long and i would like it to be black so i'm gonna see if the hardware store is open go down there get some shorter ones they're black maybe uh even with a washer on the top and i need to get none of these uh ends will fit this through it so maybe get some bigger ends and uh a shorter black bolt hopefully they have something that fits that way i can make it like a real clean install up here um i don't want it it's like you could like thread it on 
to this part and then the wire would, you know, bend. I'd like them just to sit on top flat. Then I can like just, you know, zip tie them together here and then the grommet's probably gonna be down there somewhere. Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna go about where my boost line went, um, which you can kind of see it, that right there, and it snakes down and goes down in there. So uh, we're gonna pull the battery and battery mount out, get this stuff threaded through, figure out where we want the module to sit, get all the other wiring dealt with, and then figure out this stuff, or at least get this through the firewall first. I'm gonna call them, see when they close. That's probably the smarter move. Called the hardware store. Hardware store is open till six. It's like four now. So I'm going to just leave this stuff here, run down there, get some stuff, get some new end connectors, and hopefully they have the right <coughs> hardware. Should be a nice clean install if I can if I can do it that way. I think it'd be dope. Yep, let's do it. Yeah, my boy Eric here. He came by in his 700 plus procharged Camaro. Say hi. Hey. Hey. Hello. <laughs> All right. So we just ran to the store. Got some hardware that fits in the terminals here to make for a nice clean install. Make it easy to uh, remove the wires if need be. I got washers if I need it, but it sits pretty darn close. With the uh, connector in there, it should be just perfect. So, I'm gonna pull the battery out, the battery tray, and figure out what grommet we're gonna run some wires through. Excuse my dirt. We got the intake out, battery, battery tray. You can see where I run. My boost line goes all the way around right here. And I'm gonna try and use that same grommet to pull these wires through. I don't know if there's gonna be enough room, but. I'm going to try there first. I don't see any other grommets that I could open up to use. Which kind of sucks because I need to run that ethanol wire as well. So I got to find something. Alright, so this is pretty simple. Went to where we ran the boost. The boost line. Where are we at? Right there. Boom. Right through the firewall. Alright. It comes out. We got the length here. Got plenty. Plenty of length, and then on this power wire, we need to connect this fuse. So we'll cut that down and add this on there once it's time. And then that side's done. It's pretty simple. Throw the, the end connectors on, connect to the battery, and then go from there. Um, I still am unsure where I want to mount this thing. I could easily put these in this panel here. Oh, where my hand at? In this panel, run it along here or along the seat or under the seat and bring it up and then kind of just toss it anywhere thinking maybe just velcro the bitch center right here or maybe somewhere maybe it'll sit like on there still gotta play with that but oh sorry running into people <laughs> all right so we're in here trying to mock things up to get this cover off you just pull from this side back boom to get this connector off you lift your little red tab boom you got a regular tab on this one done those two are undone and then you got this connector back there you'll see and that's where the stock fuel controller is and then um or not is it actually i don't know if that's actually the fuel controller or not either way that's got to get disconnected and then the new connector will go to that one then you got new connectors to go to both of these that come from this and then from there, all you need is power. And hopefully we can utilize this grommet thing somehow, maybe. We'll see. I gotta figure out how to get this off. It's kind of a pain of an angle. Alright, so to con get this connector off, I didn't just take it off there. This is the, the fuel pump control module, the OEM one. So it slides back in there. It's got this nice little metal housing it sits in. You'll, you see this little, these little tabs here? There's a connector that holds this whole thing in. So if you get a light down in there and look, and then grab a scribe, you'll be able to get a scribe under the connector, lift it, and then just pull this whole module out. Boom, and you can disconnect the two. You no longer need that. And this harness that's factory will plug into the new one coming off there. Boom, 
And one of these plugs you won't actually even be using at all. One of these two. It comes with a false plug to just stick in and cap it. And then, uh, yeah, but I need to pay attention because this one, as you can see, it's uh, repaired. It looks repaired. So it'll be this one, which should be the main power going back. I have the fuel pump wired backwards, which was our fault when we put the fuel pump in. So when I go to put the new one on, I need to switch out the wires. We have it switched down in there. But, uh, yeah, just need to remember that. All right, so this connector does stay. This one with the red tab, boom. This is your new power. This one, we cut a hole in the grommet, ran it through here, and then I'll run up there. And then the new, um, I guess, brain wire, the, the thin ones, we connected them, shoved them back in there, boom, and put them back into the spot where the stock fuel controller was. Seems like it'll stay decently tight without banging around. And I took the other connector that you put the false cap on and just kind of tucked it down in there. Hopefully it won't bang around. I might have to throw like a zip tie on this one or something so it doesn't move. I don't want to hear the dinging, but once you clean up these wires, everything goes through the grommets. Boom. It'll sit decently pretty. And I think I'm just going to mount it right there for now once I get some duct tape and stuff. Or, uh, what did I say? Um, Velcro. Stick it there, right here. We'll, we'll find out here in the end. You guys might think this is ghetto because it is so the connectors I didn't want it slapping around in there so where you took out the old fuel controller this slides in almost perfectly so I took sacrificial microfiber wrap some tape around it and you can shove it in there and it's not gonna move and even if it does it's not gonna rattle against anything anymore so this should work all right now this is about as clean as it's gonna get maybe wrap some electrical tape around there if you really wanted to depending on where you're gonna mount this thing but uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap these wires all around each other. Clean this up real nice. Got a lot of wire we can cut off here, so make it work. All right, so we routed everything real nice along here. Thanks to thanks to Eric. Thinking good. So threw some zip ties on, brought them along, brought them up. Threw a zip tie there, brought them around. So you got the one wire coming up, cutting slits in the carpet throwing zip ties around the whole thing and then we'll wire these guys right there boom and I just got to deal with uh, getting the power back here it should be good to go not as bad as I thought it's actually kind of fun you get to be a little creative on how you route things make it look nice and clean all right so everything on this side routed over to here boom nice and clean really dig that I'll fix my seat belt here so then we just put some holes in the carpet, threw some zip ties down. It doesn't look perfectly perfect, but it'll do. We're gonna run these power wires down here and we'll come around and meet it right there. Connect those. Now this goes to the battery, so we gotta go in through the carpet here. Boom, 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 coming out down here. And we'll run it through the trim all the way up to the battery. Nice and clean. It's gonna come out a lot better than what I thought. Hell yeah. Thanks to this fella. Where he's at? Hell yeah. All right, so this is what it came down to. Actually, on camera it looks kind of fucking, yeah. But you can't see any of the wires going down there. Boom, it's a nice little junction area. As you can see, like I said earlier, because my pump wires inside are backwards, so I had to reverse these. Hopefully nothing blows up. Tanner just texted me, said I'm good to go do a day log as soon as I'm done here. So we'll finish routing this stuff. Get that, oh man, my batteries are dying on that. So get, get that done, and then I got my uh, ethanol sensor to try and knock out the day two. So, you said we get the power wire, power in, going across, across, down. I have it tucked. I literally just, I didn't even pop the panel off. Just tucked it, tucked it. Tucked it all along. All right, I, I did pop this up. All you gotta do is lift. Fucking lift it, tucked it in, pop the back down. Then the wire does kind of stick out. And then your your little kick panel here, um, I don't know if you can really see. This is what holds it from flapping. So you literally just yank it, it'll come out from this little flap. Went up, 
crossed and then up to the grommet that you can't see. Boom, to the grommet. Hide this panel right there, goes up, crossed, and then there's plenty of, plenty. Then we gotta wire in the new fuse that he's got in his hand and uh, go from there. All right, so back to getting this wired in. So we got the power wire right here, ground wire, cut it nice and short, put a butt connector on it, or a, what are they called? Terminal. Terminal connector, and put it here with the other chassis ground. So that's taken care of. Now I will install the battery tray and the battery, and then cut this to length, and then zip her down right on top. And we'll be done, I ran the ethanol. I don't know if I kept that clip in or not, but I ran the ethanol uh, sensor harness as well. I'll go over there or somewhere I might route it up behind here and go across. We'll see how the length wants to play with us, but for now, get the battery box back in. Alright, so the battery's back in. Got the power wire brought up, going across, cut it to size, and we'll stick it right there. That way if I ever go anywhere sketchy like Albuquerque or something, pop the hood, disconnect that, fuel pump won't work. So at least if they try and steal my car, it won't get any fuel. <laughs> Makes it real easy. Or I mean, I could just unplug it from back there too. But either way. Well guys, when you're doing this, we were thinking we were all done. I go in here and start putting shit away. Forgot the fuse. So we'll cut the head of that one. Just cut it off. We got more. Oh yeah, damn. We'll, we'll line this baby up in there. Forgot we had to throw that on. All right, well, now she's on done. Nice and clean if it would focus. There we go. Got it going on there, going down, boom. Everything's on when I connected it. Heard the fuel pump prime, so I'm trying to give her a start here. I got a bunch of stuff. Still getting this, still gotta do this P3. Stuff, make sure she starts. Oh yeah, hell yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm getting, uh, I disconnected the battery, that's why. so since I put the controller in no issues nothing crazy um, really the install is pretty straightforward I feel like I should have got closer on the connector so you could see um, exactly but literally everything only goes one place the only um, things really is just a routing of the wires uh, you cut them to whatever length you want uh, there's plenty of room going through that grommet I got my boost hose the positive, negative, and my P3 ethanol all going through that same grommet, and there's still room to spare. So you can definitely go through that spot. Um, like I said, it says not to be covered, so don't put it under your seat, and don't like cut a hole out of some foam and shove it inside of some foam or something. It literally says on it, do not cover. So keep that in mind. Um, I ordered it from EQT. Uh, the link's down in the description. It was a very easy install, and now I'll be able to run full ethanol. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Any uh, comments, questions, concerns, drop it down below. And uh, make sure you give this a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.